This is KV Ramesh, Anthropology faculty. Welcome to Vimarsha IAS Academy. So we are seeing previous year questions in anthropology. Today our question is, what is meant by health? And is burden of lifestyle disease increasing? And justify your answer with suitable examples. So if this is the question, how do we attempt this question? The first thing the student must aim is identify the keywords in this question. So first part of this question is what is meant by health? You should start with this part. Second one is the lifestyle related diseases. So there are many classification of diseases. Here the particular focus goes on lifestyle diseases or else indirectly it is referred as NCDs, non-communicable diseases. And third one is is it rise or not? That statistics are important. Rise means what kind of statistics you will show as evidence for the rise. Third one, what kind of diseases that you should give as examples. These are all the keywords. First you need to fragment the keywords. Then you will try to attempt based on these keywords. So what is the structure? So structure of answer is various definitions, uh, various approaches related to the health in anthropology. Second one is define lifestyle diseases and what are all the causative factors for this lifestyle diseases. That second part you should start with lifestyle diseases. Third one is statistics related to the various NCDs. Fourth one conclusion. Here you can include various preventive measures related to the lifestyle disease only. So now we will see actual answer. So this is the diagram you can see that. The definition of health in anthropology is multifaceted, which including various approaches. So for suppose the biomedical concept of the health, it says that absence of pathogens from our body is nothing but health. But when it comes to the ecological concept, so which tell us that health means a perfect adjustment of humans with the surrounding ecology. Disease means mal adjustment of humans with the surrounding ecology. So this is the second approach. And cultural approach which talks about so every cultural group has their own system of identification, classification, define and treatment options for their health system. So thereby there is no universal definition, universal definition for health when we apply cultural approach or anthropological approach. So when it comes to the WHO definition, so which including is uh, physical, mental, social well-being along with absence of any pathogens. That is the WHO given definition for the health. And a holistic approach and psychosocial concept which including all the dimensions of society. So economic well-being, social well-being, psychological well-being, political well-being. All these facets are related to the health. So this is the way you should identify various approaches to define the health in anthropology. So this is the first part. So I am going so professionally. So each concept requires in-depth investigation and identification. So next, so we will move on to the what are all the lifestyle diseases, also called as NCDs. So according to epidemiological transition, when societies move from traditional kind of production to modern kind of production, the kind of lifestyle changes in their societies. That means the primarily day-to-day -day life habits of individual. So the habits related to the day-by-day -day life activities that resulted into sedentarianism lifestyle. And along with modification of diet, unhealthy diet, so physical inactivity, use of tobacco, alcohol, use of drugs, all this related to the so emergence of chronic non-communicable diseases which resulted into the threatening conditions, life-threatening conditions. So these diseases primarily we call as non-communicable diseases or lifestyle related diseases. And you have to show some examples what kind of disease. So this is kind of heart diseases, obesity, type 2 diabetes as well as brain stroke, so hypertension, 
chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases as well as asthma, osteoporosis, cancer. So these are all the some of the examples of lifestyle related diseases. And next one, statistics. So the question is, is lifestyle disease are on rise? So to prove that these are all in rise, we need to take various statistics which was officially published by various agencies. So according to WHO, so every year 38 million people are dying because of these kind of lifestyle diseases, especially cancer, chronic respiratory problems as well as cardiovascular problems. And according to WHO in India, nearly every year 60% of total mortality related to lifestyle disease only. And not only WHO statistics, you can go to the Ministry of Family Welfare and Health, so which published statistics. So NCDs, non-communicable diseases or lifestyle related diseases are rise from 30% in 1992 55% in 2016. So these are all the statistics indicates the lifestyle related diseases are rise. So this is the second portion and third one conclusion. So what do you write conclusion here means? So what kind of simple strategies are required to prevent this kind of lifestyle diseases? So first one is so having balanced diet. So balanced diet at regular intervals. Balanced diet means which including perfect combination of proteins, vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates as well as fats etc. So next one is maintaining balance between physical activity as well as food consumption. And uh, so small lifestyle modification such as doing household work, so taking regular walk after meal or using the stairs rather than lifts, this kind of lifestyle modification. Next, uh, abstaining from nicotine, alcohol or any form of drugs consumption. And uh, you can see that avoiding excessive consumption of salt, oil and sugar. So and finally, opting for periodic health checkups. So these are all small kind of lifestyle modification we can avoid this kind of life threatening uh, lifestyle diseases. So this is the way you have to complete answer. So first one is various approaches of the study of health in anthropology. Second one is what are all the lifestyle diseases and what are all the factors for increasing these lifestyle disorders as well as what are all the statistics showing is it rise or not and finally conclusions in the form of preventive strategies for lifestyle diseases. So this is for today. Tomorrow we will come with new question. Thank you very much.